but it's just so hard, so hard. Hey guys. Okay, I just want to say I don't look the most epic I've ever looked in this clip, so sorry. What's up? So, today we're in a bit of a different location because we're going to be talking about these bad boys today, or more like the lack thereof of these. Oh god. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about how I dye my eyebrows. I do dye my eyebrows um, with this stuff. The Just For Men Mustache and Beard Dye. Um, and I'm just going to be taking you along on how I do it. So, let's get into it. So, first what I like to do is make sure that my face is clean. So I just wash my face. Um, I don't know if that's what it says. To so make sure your face is clean. Mm -mm. So, I'm going to put my hair back. Get ready. Because, you know, it can get a little bit messy. You, know? you, know, you just want to prepare for everything. Put, put my little headband on. I'm ready, ready to dye my eyebrows. Okay, so the kit comes with three things, four things, I don't know. It comes with this little tin thing, plastic, and then it comes with a color base and then a color developer, so like regular hair dye. And two tubes and then like a little brush. I don't use this um, because I don't have a beard that I'm dyeing, I'm dyeing my small, very thin eyebrows. So yeah, then for the actual application, I use just my regular eyebrow brush, but you have to make sure to wash this a ton, like very thoroughly after you use it with this dye because the dye could be still left in there and that's not epic um, if you're constantly dyeing your eyebrows. Um, so that's what I use. And then I also use um, my concealer brush along with some Vaseline because that I'm just gonna apply it where like I usually apply concealer around my brows and that'll just help you know protect it from getting on your skin or like looking too messy or whatever so without further ado let's get into it so I'm gonna be doing this into the mirror in front of me so sorry if I'm like looking in a weird place but if you can see there are my <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> eyebrows <laughs> Um, they're pretty much invisible, like pretty much. I'm, you can only kind of see them because there's like leftover dye from the last time and also because it's super up close, but from far away, they don't exist. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to show you how I mix these. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color developer first. doesn't matter what order you do this in. It's the same thing. And I'm just, I'm going to take the little plastic case that it, as you can see, kind of, okay, well, not with my focus, but you can kind of see the two, they have like, yeah, there, like sections where you're supposed to put it. Sorry about the focus on this clip. Like, I literally want to throw my camera against a wall sometimes. So, so I just put like at the tiniest amount because a lot, a little goes a long way. They give you a lot because it's meant for beards, facial hair, not for... Why is it not focusing? <laughs> oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, so I just take literally the smallest, smallest amount, like that much. And then you're going to put equal amounts. Oh my god, my camera, honestly, like why does it just not focus? Then you're going to take equal amounts of the color base. Put it right next to it. So, like that. And then I just take the little brush that it came with and use the end to mix them together. You want to mix them and make sure that it's very, um, like, evenly mixed. Or else, because if you have unequal parts, then I don't think it'll work as good. I don't know. So I'm just mixing. And it'll kind of look like this color. It's, n it's not going to look the color you want it obviously in the pan because it'll start to develop more while it's on your face okay so now that that's all mixed in and stuff it looks like baby poo poo but that's okay so now i'm gonna put vaseline around my eyebrows to protect them so let me zoom in oh <clears throat> okay so i take my concealer brush and some of this and I literally just go around it. OK. 
kind of just literally just going where you don't want any product to end up. And then I kind of run a little bit through the front because you don't want your front of the eyebrows to be too blocky. So. Okay. So now that we're all greased up, um, it's almost time to go. So then I'm just going to take the spoolie end of my eyebrow brush and just brush them up a little bit. I should have done this before the Vaseline, but... That's totally fine. Okay, now that we're all prepped up here, we're ready to start painting. So I just take my brush, dip it in, get a good a good amount, like a pretty gloopy amount. If it'll focus, okay, whatever. Okay, what I'm doing, even though you literally can't see, is I'm just pretty much putting the product where I normally fill in my eyebrows. Um, and pretty thickly and you want to make sure to coat all of your eyebrows hairs not eyebrows but okay there we go kind of a little bit better in focus so you can kind of see so kind of want to like go like that a little bit to make sure you're getting all the hairs coated evenly um, kind of go a little bit softer towards the front Kind of just act like this is your regular eyebrow stuff and use it as such. And then I like to do this pretty quickly just because this stuff can set really fast. And you don't want your eyebrows too dark because then they start looking a little cray cray. But whatever. And I don't really have a lot of hairs in this area on my tail. Um, so, I don't know, I kind of just go wherever I can. And I try to get, I try my best to get like an even layer of the product everywhere because you don't want too uneven of a color. Okay, so then I'm just gonna leave that for three minutes about. Let me set a timer um, for three minutes. The box is five, but I never do five just because I feel like that's way too long for eyebrows. Um, just cause they're kind of not gonna, supposed to look like this. So I'll just wait for three minutes now kind of Fixing them up a little bit, maybe. Stunner. So I'm just washing my brush out now because I don't want to have beard dye left in my brush. And then I usually do this right before I'm about to shower because um, you want to shampoo this out um, because if you're using face wash um, it, It'll take it out a lot. It'll be a lot harsher than if you use shampoo So I like to do this when I'm about to shower um, So I just take a little bit of shampoo on my fingers and just massage them in Try to and then also what I like to do is I take a little bit of face wash and rub it in the front of the eyebrows So they aren't blocky um, So yeah, I'll see you when I get out of the shower Okay, who's ready for the grand reveal? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so here is the final product. Pretty epic, right? For someone with no eyebrows, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, yeah. There it is. And they will fade every time you wash your face, every time you shower. But honestly, they look a bit more natural even after the first few days you have them. So yeah, but honestly, like, 
they look pretty natural already to me. If they'll focus, focus, focus on me, focus. But yeah, those are my eyebrows. Those are how I dye my eyebrows. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns uh, about how I did this, whatever, let me know in the comments below and let me know. Hold on, I can't hear myself speak right now because of my towel. Um, let me know if you have any future video suggestions or anything like that. Um, Alright, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, see you later. Pod.